He was told it wasn't safe. Who's there? Some women saw that little AIDS boy down near Peterson's yesterday. He was warned to stay away. My grandmother says you're going to hell. Well, my doctor's really smart. He says he has no idea what happens. If your grandmother knows, she must be a genius. She's a clerk at Kmart. But Eric took a chance and risked everything. Jeez, you're a midget. You just keep a safe distance. What's a safe distance? Seven feet. What he found oh was God. the best friend he ever had. <laughs> What's that awful smell? We accidentally stepped in your mother. Get him! Get out of the way! Oh. I've never seen anyone who look like this before, but a monster doesn't. These aren't moms, these are women. <laughs> Just as soon as they find the cure, we're heading out to Baskin Robbins and ordering one of those monster Sundays. It's a good plan. What is it? She's afraid that they might not find a cure in time. Not measles. Not chicken pox, AIDS. Come Monday morning, you're going to summer camp. Now, staying together. Tomorrow morning, I'm out of here. I just think she'd be really, really worried. Means leaving everyone else behind. You and I both know that the only thing that's going to make her happy is when we find a cure. I'll be the navigator, and you'll be treasurer. History is full of very sick people who suddenly, for no reason at all, get better. <laughs> and when that happens, we call it a miracle. Sometimes I get really scared. Hold on to this while you sleep. And if you wake up and you're scared, you'll say, wait a minute, there it must be close by. Jurassic Park's Joseph Mazzello and the client's Brad Renfro in a story of two boys who made one summer last a lifetime. No! The Cure. <laughs>